this is something that's been going on for a long time. As a facial plastic surgeon, I have probably a half a dozen patients in my practice right now that have had sex change from uh, all these are uh, man to woman, but it's, it was an issue that's around. So what we decided, told them, I said, you know, I've seen some patients that have, you know, these problems. Uh, and I think it would make a hell of an interesting story because, you know, it isn't just like someone goes in and says, I want a sex change. They have to go through psychiatric uh, therapy, hormonal therapy. Uh, it's it's a it's a tough road to hoe. I mean, someone who wants to do it really has to work hard to do it. So we just wanted to show that this is a something that exists in society. And at the time, I mean, it was way you know pretty way out there for television, which was pretty staid and very censored. Do you remember how it was received or, or any details about that Robert Reed episode? Uh, the point being that uh, I think it was a major step for him to play that, number one. I mean, uh, I'm, and I know Frank, I'm positive Frank must have gotten him to do it because that would be so, so totally up Frank's alley. And the thing is, is that we, you know, it wasn't like there was a public outcry or anything. We would just, we got a lot of letters asking, is, is this really done? And, uh, you know, how is this done? And, so on, because most people are relatively unfamiliar with the techniques and how it's done and so on and so forth. So it sparked a lot of interest in it.